Alright, so now that we have some basic understanding of what WordPress is, let's go ahead and set up our WordPress. There's a couple of things you would need to actually have before you actually go and set up the web page, before you go into downloading the WordPress. First of all, you would need an active email account, and this email will be linked to your online web page. The second thing you would have to do is to actually register with WordPress. Now to do that, just open the browser and type in wordpress.com and a page like this will actually show up. Now they've changed this page and I don't really like it, I like the other one, the old one a bit more. They've gone to all clean look here and basically you'll find some information here on, um, on WordPress and you can actually see that it's got hundreds of designs, that it's freshly pressed, that it's ready for mobile and you'll find other information here as well that you can have your own domain name it's quite easy to use there's the best technical support premium plans millions of users and it's actually ceo friendly moving down you'll find that basically uh, wordpress powers about uh, just a bit more than 20 20 percent of the internet okay scrolling back up You'll see this option here where you would enter your name of your new site and you would actually go ahead and create the website. Now you can register as many different accounts and you can open as many different accounts as you want and you can create many different pages on those accounts. I would strongly suggest that you just go with one account and um, that account will be linked with your email and you will receive updates from the WordPress and most importantly you will actually receive the account activation email there. Now instead of actually typing in here your address and go and create website, what I prefer to do is I'll click on the login button up here and since I have not yet created an account I'll actually click just down here where it says register. Okay, so this will actually open up a page that says get started with wordpress.com. Okay, you'll enter some basic information here like the email address, username, password and the blog address here as well. On the, on the right hand side you'll find a bit more about each field, so basically this is the email field and you'll find some information here that actually explains that this particular email that you enter here will be used to send emails regarding activation of the account and just to make sure that um, you actually type in the correct email address here you'll find some information about the password uh, the username and the password here as well if you scroll down a bit more you'll actually see what they have now is three different plans they have the beginner the premium and the business plan okay so depending on your needs you will choose one of these plans so let's have a look at some of the differences so basically if you're running a online business and you need e-commerce plan you need e-commerce just to sell some stuff on the internet you would go for the business plan okay and that plan is currently at about uh, 300 dollars per year okay so premium and beginner and premium do not have this option for the e-commerce they all have free blogs they all have except for the beginner they all have custom site address so if you need a custom site address you would go for either a premium or business there's some difference in the space available so for the beginners there's 3 gigabytes there's 13 for the premium and basically for the business it's unlimited beginners pack actually has some ads the other two do not have any ads as well as for the custom design custom design is not available with the beginners and also video press is not available as well when it comes to premium themes the only available option here is actually for the business plan so only business plan can actually have premium themes also if you pay a bit more so if you pay $300 you will get a live chat support otherwise for the premium which is just below $100 per year you will get a direct email and if you're actually using the free version which is the beginner version you will get a community help all right so let's go back up and enter some information now i have designed a special email address just for this purpose and i'll type it in here
at yahoo.com all right and for the username i'm going to enter something like let's let's learn all right let's see if this is available okay it already exists let's go back and i'll put some numbers 15 19 all right this is acceptable and for the password i'll go ahead and i'll type in the password as well all right then straight ahead it will actually give you a blog address so this is where your blog will be hosted at so my particular blog blog would be wordpress cute blog dot wordpress dot com because this is a free version if you click down here you'll actually find all the other versions that you can actually choose all the other extensions so you can go from dot com dot net dot org dot co dot me dot info biz and everything else and there you'll find actually the prices per year however for this purpose i'm just going to leave it as a um, dot wordpress dot com because this is a free version and this is just for this particular tutorial of course you can choose any of these and actually if you do choose any of the extensions that um, will you'll actually have to pay for you'll actually go through a process that's not going to be covered in this video tutorial well you actually have to enter your payment information okay i'll leave it as this and i'll just scroll down and just down here i'll hit on the create block button All right, so the next step, it will actually say blog title and this is something that you can actually go ahead and fill in as you would like it to be or just leave it as it is and actually you can change that letter. For the language, you can choose from English and there's quite a lot of other languages here and this is something basically that uh, WordPress 4 has done a lot on. So people at WordPress have done a lot of uh, these different languages. Uh, when it comes to WordPress, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is and hit on next step All right now this will bring me to step two where I can actually choose from many different Already built themes and actually you can see that uh, those costs. So for example, this one is $75 $79 and whatnot. All right, I'm just gonna go with the free version. So this one here and if you scroll a bit more down you can actually find the show more templates here I'm just gonna go with this one and hit on next step all right now it's giving us the option to actually go ahead and customize it and if this is something that you would like to do you would hit on customize it and this will actually open a new page where you can customize this particular theme however the purpose of this tutorial is not to customize an already existing theme but to actually find a different theme that in my case i like and customize that one so i'm not going to hit on customize instead i'm just going to hit on next step all right then it's gonna ask you for some information when it comes to the twitter and facebook once again if you like you can actually connect your twitter account or your facebook account to this particular website in my case i'm just gonna hit on next Alright, and now it's actually brought me to this page here where all the changes and adding of everything else will be done. Also right at the top you can see that it's actually asking me to verify my email address. So this is the email that I have actually typed in when I registered. And in order to do that I'll have to go and open my email and there should be a link there to follow to activate my account. Otherwise if I do not activate it I think within uh, 7 or 14 days my account will be um, deactivated so let's do that I'll go back to my email and right there is confirm your email address for wordpress tutblog.wordpress.com okay if I open that one up there's a link so I'll hit on confirm
Okay, my email has been verified now and it's actually saying just right up here that now that this has actually been confirmed, my email, I can actually start publishing my web page. Okay, so this is basically how you would go about registering onto the WordPress and in the next tutorials we'll actually have a look how to go ahead and add new pages, how to add new posts and how to actually control the whole Word, WordPress online site. So once again, the most important thing is to have an email address that's valid and to go through all the steps that I've gone through in order to get to this page here. Also, just a quick heads up, when you're actually here, you, you can go to my sites, you can go to stats, or you can actually move all the way to the right and you'll find this little drop down menu and right at the bottom you'll actually find sign out. So once you have actually registered, you can actually go here and sign out. This will bring you to the page we have seen before. You can go into login and enter your username information here okay so this is how you will go about registering with the wordpress online